Jack. Oh my god, I'm just super impressed how easy I did this. This is this is a look. Welcome back to our channel and in today's video I am going to show you all how I style my hijab. Now Eid is approaching and when I style my hijab for Eid, I don't want you guys asking me how did you style your hijab so go ahead and save this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let's go ahead and have fun making this video. <laughs> so you guys, this is the exact hijab that I will be wearing for Eid. It's a silky material and I got this from Veil Collection. Now this is not a promo, I just happened to buy a lot of my scarves from Veil Collection. They have really nice scarves. That's just one of the brands that I prefer. Now this is more of a silky material and when you are dealing with a silky material, it's nice because it's flowy, but you wanna make sure that it's secured so that it will not slip off your head. So let's get into how I style this hijab. Let me go ahead and turn around from the back and the front. If you notice, there's an opening right here. I'm wearing a turtleneck to cover my neck. And there's also a longer piece and a shorter piece. So let's get into how I style this hijab. Now, this is an undercup. A lot of Muslims wear this. You could buy this on Amazon or you could visit any hijab brand that sells online and purchase this undercap. I like my undercaps to be black if I am not planning to show it. So you could go ahead and purchase that. For me, okay, don't judge. I like to use a piece of black fabric. It could be like a jersey material. I just buy a jersey hijab. This is so, 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 so strange. I buy a jersey hijab and I just cut it into rectangles. And this is how I do it. I just tie it on my head because the reason I do this is because I feel like Sometimes this tends to slip unless you want to pin it. Although this has two like two stretchy strings in the back of it that will secure hijab. I feel like if it, it doesn't give me that secure um, feeling, and I prefer my hijab to feel secure, not super tight. You don't want to cut off your blood circulation. By the way, when I was younger, I used to pin my hijab super tight, and trust me, I'm not doing that anymore. Anyhow, I I, I tighten the back like this. The reason I can't demonstrate it because I, I can't show you guys my hair. So I just tie it like this, you know, basically tie it like that. And that's what I'm wearing under this scarf. So this hijab is a little flowy. I like to start. So if you're new to Islam or if you're new to wearing hijab, I would love you guys to try this way. So it's not tight, like I could still feel my head. I'm not cutting off my blood circulation. The worst thing you would like is to have a tight hijab, especially if you have to go to an occasion like Eid or your wedding or graduation. You wanna make sure your hijab is comfortable. So I always start with a long side and a short side. And I know we are graduating from hijab pins. It seems so old school. And talking about pins, I have some pins I'd like to show you all from my friend, Hakima. We're gonna get into that hijab st styling in just a sec. When I take this pen, oh my god, I can't believe he's using pens. Like, who used pens? Who used pens in 2024? No one. I'm gonna pin it behind. Like this. One goes in one side, comes to the other, and just secure it like that. Right. Now, I like to roll this. Roll this, roll this, roll this, roll this, roll this, roll this, roll this. So I take this line, you're gonna pull it in back because you wanna make you don't wanna have this this line like this. So you're gonna push it like this back. And if you have a bun, if you have here, just wrap it around your hair. Take this side, pull it, bring it under, bring it up, and bring it between right here. Good. See? 
see how that looks nice and neat and it's not super tight because we don't want to cut off our blood circulation and then this is what this is the part that gets oh, Aaron just fell go ahead and pick it up these Aaron bags are never never strong enough okay this is the part that's kind of a little tricky we have this nice long flowy part of your hijab this is what I do look at it carefully look we're going to go like this and bring it over like that see I want to bring it over this part looks like this nice and flowy and nice you want to push it back a little bit I like to put it like a little bit low midway like right here and I'm going to use if you want to have it short but if you want each side to be level we could pull it a little more according to how you want it and let's go ahead and use my straight pin I still use straight pin the next tutorial trust me will not be using any pins stick it right here and let's go ahead and do the same right here See the reason you have on the cuff is for the pin to go through the cuff, not go through your scalp. So be careful how you stick the pin. You want to stick it in that, that cuff. And run right here. And there you have it. And you see this is a flow. So I like to roll it a little bit, give it a little style. Let's turn around and see how it looks in the back. Voila! Well, uh, so that's one of my hijab tutorials. Let's go on to hijab style number two. Now for hijab style number two, I'm wearing a cup on the cup. I normally don't wear these things. Remember the last hijab style I showed you guys, I cut my own piece of fabric and put it on my head. But now I'm wearing one of those designed on the cap that you could buy in any hijab store, even on Amazon, this search hijab on the caps. Uh, I always feel like this is never Although I have a big head, I feel like it's never too tight. So what I do, I try to pull it, pull it tighter using my, my safety pin. Oh my God, you guys have to excuse me with my safety pins, okay? Right. Make it a little bit more secure, not super tight. Like I said, no cutting off the blood circulation here. And I'm just gonna put this cap on. Now this is chiffon. It's not silky like the other material. This one is like my go-to hijab material. But I feel like for dressy occasions like Eid, you have to tread very lightly. You might not find this so dressy, and for Eid, you, want, you might want something more dressier. Let's go ahead and still try it. So, I saw a girl using this gun, this micro stitch gun, for your hijab, and I tried it, and it failed miserably on me. She just like hold it long, long like this, and give it one. Now let me put it. This is what she did. It failed miserably on me, like it's a no-no for me. So she secured it like this. Okay, okay this one went through. I feel like it's not my thing. It's not my thing. It's not my thing. So if you want, you could go ahead and get this micro switch gun. I will not recommend it because I just feel like it's. I don't know how to use it that good. Um, unless we just. Take it off, and I hate having these things on my hijab. So what I what I what I decided to do is get some some fashion tape. Have a scissors because you have to cut your fashion tape. And I think like this is my typical look that I carry. I got this fashion tape on Amazon. Just search fashion tape. Everything is easy to get in this video. I think I'm gonna put a link for you all for sure. So, because I don't want you guys like asking in the comments where you got these things. I'm gonna put a link even to the hijab. So I'm going to cut piece. Now it's sticky, so you have to be very careful how you do this. Like to cut piece. One, I need to cut three. I'll just keep it right here. Two. Three. You align your hijab. You want if you want this to be super long. If you want it to be like 
not so long, and you pull it over some more. And you start with the center, put it right here. Then you're going to gently push the heat up down like this. I'm having fun. Are you guys having fun? Put a piece right here, passion tape. Gently bring it down like this. So this is how I, it doesn't like blow away when the wind is blowing. Put it on the other side, same thing. This part, I roll it. I roll it. I roll it. You don't have to roll yours. This is how I do mine. Now, this is not so dressy for eat, so I wouldn't recommend it. If you wanna, if you wanna eat, look, you don't roll it, you just probably drape it. So this is one of my looks. If you feel like this part, you don't like this extra flare, what you could do, use more fashion tape and just try to put, put your hand inside and bring it on like this and that. So if you feel like you don't want to use fashion tape and that micro stitch gun, I have this new hijab pins and I'm going to put it in the description below. This is from my friend Hakima and this is what she did. She, you're just going to take the hijab, let me start from the beginning. This is it right here. I'm just going to place it right here inside. Like I've been watching her TikTok videos on how to do this. And then after she put put it in the back like this. So that's if you don't if you want a more if you want more of a flowy look. And you try to connect it however you want to connect it on this side. This is just if you want to do it like this. You could bring it over or you could leave it like that, but this pin keeps it nice and secure. And, and there are different ways to style using this hijab pin. There's so many ways to style it. So I would recommend you guys go on her TikTok and she's showing you how to style this pin. This is if you just want a flowy look, like, you know, something to flow without the fashion tape, the micro stitch. So this is definitely a go-to. Don't forget. You order it on the link in my bio. So some people might want a floral look for Eid, hence why I changed this dress. The other outfits were more dressier. And this is a jersey material. So let's go ahead and try a turban look. Now I'm wearing a turtleneck like I always do when I'm not covering my neck, I wear a turtleneck. So let's go ahead. And this one is pretty simple. It's just taking both sides and try to crisscross it on top and tying a knot over on one of the sides. Same thing, I'm wearing my black underscarf, right? <laughs> let's go ahead and do that. I just want you want to make sure get all make sure it's it's neat. Cross it like this. You want to make sure that it crosses in the center of your head. Hold it on really super tight. The jersey material is the best material to do this with. Tie it right here. This is so easy. This is an easy one. They want to look nice and cute. Oh my god, I'm just super impressed how easy I did this. <laughs> now let's go ahead and recreate my date night look. You guys saw my date night look. We were just going for an entire date night. I knew that I was super in a really dark place. But I'm much better now, so let's go ahead and recreate that look. And I'm wearing this dress by unmatchbyu.com. You guys have to check them out. They have such lovely clothes for Ramadan and for Eid. So, so this is back to my chiffon material. I love the chiffon. The first material I did it was too slippery. Now I am rethinking of wearing that type of material for Eid. So let's get right into this look that I did. You guys saw the video? Let's, let's go to the video. Okay, 
Let's be good. So I have always started the longer side and the shorter side. Now this side is not as short, this foot to be so that it could be shorter. Same thing, tie it in the back using my safety pin. God, just old school. Remember you don't have to use safety pins, you can use a chemo stretchy pin. This line goes back. And I love this, I love this material. It fits so much better than the first material that I use. So same thing, the bottom goes on top like this. And you're gonna use your straight pins. Here, put our next one right here. And, uh, see how nice it looks already. This is how I'll be doing my hijab for Eid, by the way, you guys. So, this is it. One side is nice with a little bit of some crinkly stuff right here, and the other side is long. If you want to make it casual, you could just take, put a knot right here. I'm not a big fan of the knot unless I'm going for that boho look. But this is how, this is, this is the look. So let me know in the comments, do you guys like my hijab tutorials? Let me know in the comments and let me know what else you guys would like to see and let me know if you guys try it out. If you try it out and you post it, post it on social media, please talk your girl, Weston Young Bella. Bye.